Okay, you guys ready? So this is basic script writing. We're gonna do uh Do we get to tell you what the script is gonna be? No, we're just gonna go over this first and then we're gonna start brainstorming some ideas and maybe just develop one idea together as a class. And then uh, I'm gonna assign individual ideas for you guys, okay? So, let me just clicky, clicky. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. All right, so here's the first stage. Does anyone remember from Mrs. Rambert's class? Like you need to establish a story. Yeah. Okay, so number one is ordinary world. Okay, so like the Shire. All right, and then what happens next? Something call like to, yeah, call to Nice, call to adventure. Okay, so call to adventure. Call to things. All right, so Gandalf shows up and messes up the ordinary world. Shows up to the Shire and everything changes. Okay? And then what happens next? Yeah, but before that. It's, it's the mentor thing, right? No. That's after. Yeah. What does Bilbo do next? After... He basically, no the call to adventure. Yes, the rejection of the adventure. So this is the refusal to the call. Okay? Refuser, refusal of the call. No. I'm not a thief. I'm not doing it. Okay. And then what happens? Mentor. Yes. And then... Yes. Gandalf sits him down after he's already said no, whatever. And then we have a meeting with the mentor or meeting the mentor. Okay? All right, so then what happens after meeting the mentor? The switch to the matter. Yeah, so now we uh, cross the threshold and we decide we're going to do it okay so crossing the threshold there are two ages threshold so this is the decision to do it okay so far, so good? Yeah. All right, what's number seven? Six. Oh, what's number six? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and then the story drama. begins. Drama. And then there's drama. There's basically tests, allies, enemies, okay? So six is the tests, allies, Enemies. Let me just, uh, one second here. Answer. 
Okay, backing up here. Okay, so let's uh, let's get a little bit more detailed with these options here. So the ordinary world. Um, so and this is where we kind of set the pace, right? We introduce the the hero in his ordinary element. Okay. The mundane. So we are introduced to the hero in the mundane, ordinary world. Okay. Stage two is the call to adventure, initiating conflict takes place, okay? All right, stage three was the refusal of the calls of the hero is hesitant to enter the special world and accept the call to adventure. So either hesitant or outright re resisting. Okay. The mentor introduces the hero to the special world and guides them in the gaining in gaining the supplies needed to embark on the adventure. Okay, so this could be before or after the, re the acceptance, but crossing the threshold, the, the hero passes the point of no return and commits wholeheartedly to the adventure. Okay, so this, this guy crossing the threshold is passes the point of no return. There's actually... Um, a, <laughs> hi. Hi. Does anybody have a mustache on their mask? No? No? Okay. Bye, guys. Sorry. School spirit is terrible. I don't know. What's it like ballpark? I was thinking two minutes. Thank you. As long as it's not too short. Okay. Okay. Wait. Um, so, there's a point in not The Hobbit, but Lord of the Rings when um, Sam and Frodo stop and they're like, this is it. This is officially the farthest we've been outside of the Shire. And then it's kind of like this point of no return. If we keep going, then we're, there's no turning back. Okay? I love that. I love that feeling. Or, or when, I, when I see it in a movie or experience it, that's just a cool feeling. All right, it's too late now. You're committed. This is happening. Okay. All right, so stage six is tests, allies, enemies. The hero faces trial in the special world, making friends and enemies along the way. So in The Hobbit, um, there's lots of things that it gets to the, uh, the big cave trolls, right? Um, and then he figures out, well, he doesn't figure out, but he delays, he delay, gets, keeps babbling while Gandalf is there and and then the, the trolls keep talking until it turns into morning. And so he's not really well liked up until that point. He's kind of annoying to people. But they, he starts to develop allies, develop relationships with people around him, okay? And enemies. He starts to become a threat. So stage seven is approach to the innermost cave. So the hero, um, uh, this is stage seven, so let's go seven. This is approach to the innermost cave. 
So in the Hobbit, what is that? In the cave. Which cave? The one with the trolls. No, that's just one of the adventures. Oh, um, the battle. Which one are we talking about? Like, no, the first Hobbit. Oh, the first Hobbit. Gosh, Gollum, right? Is that the, is that where that ends? Do they not, does he not make it all the way to Smaug? No, that's in the second one. No. Okay. Okay. So after the cave in Gollum, with Gollum, they go out and then they're like the, the trees are burning and then they get saved by the eagles and they see the mountain. Okay. That's the top. Right. Right. So in this case, I would say like the innermost cave is like the what they what the end of the adventure type of thing. They're approaching it, not not arriving, but approach. Okay. So the hero draws closer to both the heart of the special world and the heart of the story. So a hero draws closer to the heart of the special world, whatever that is. The new, it, I mean, it could just be our world, but just, you know, coming out of your comfort zone, out of your normal life, special world, and really the climax of the story. It's approaching the climax of the story. Okay, and then eight. This is the big hullabaloo. This is the ordeal. So this is where the hero faces their greatest challenge yet and undergoes a process of death and rebirth. Okay, so hero faces greatest challenge yet. And basically undergoes a process of death and rebirth. And sometimes it is death, and depending on the story. And, uh, but it's, it's like this all, all is lost moment. And experiences a death and rebirth. Metaphorically or physically? Okay, so stage nine. What'd you say? I don't know, were you asking or were you? No, I was like, this could be a literal death or a metaphorical death, okay? So stage nine is the reward. So this is where the hero experiences the consequences of surviving death and obtains the object of their quest, okay? The hero experiences consequences of surviving. And also um, gets the reward, right? Gets the tre gets the treasure, the, the the object of their quest. This is why they set out. What was it? The Arkenstone? The one that they were looking for? I mean, all the treasure is cool, but really the main quest was getting that Arkenstone. But... The main quest was to get the mountain. Yeah, but inside the mountain was that Arkenstone. At least that was, what's his name? Um, uh, the main dwarf dude. Thorin, that was his main quest. But according to Bilbo and the rest of the crew, um, it was regaining that mountain, getting that mountain back, okay? So after the reward, you've got your the road back. So in The Hobbit, there's another war and there's things that happen, but this road back is really important. You can't just end it at that place. Now, in, in Peter Jackson's movies, the endings are so long. <laughs> uh, the whole ordeal with Bilbo, with Frodo at the end, with Bilbo, and they sail off into the horizon. 
that's just too much. I mean, just end the movie already. But um, you have to have some kind of return home or, or way back. This is the road back. The hero begins their return to the ordinary world, but a final trial faces them. The road back. Hero begins journey home, back to normal again, but experiences the final trial. This isn't necessary, but Okay, so there was like a there was like a war in, at the end of the Hobbit, but um, it could just be this return home and just saying, okay, this is what life looks like now. I like to see that. I like to see what happened because of the movie. Yes, now everything's cool. Everything's better. It's not back to normal, but it's better. Okay. And then you've got the stage 11, which is called the resurrection. So the resurrection, the hero emerges from the special world, changed by their experiences and the wisdom they've gained. Okay. Um, number tw And then stage 12 is the return with the elixir. The, the hero returns the ordinary world with their special object, which they use to make the ordinary world better. So they're not the same. So this is the return with elixir. In this case, Bilbo's got his treasure chest and he's got that ring. The object basically, um, what made him special was he obtained this, this tool, this, this thing that, that uh, uh, what part is that? I don't know if he's in, the part of the Yeah, so there's they, like uh, you can get Sting, you know, where he got Sting the sword, but really that. So he returns with Elixir and makes normal better. Okay. So we can build a plot, a basic plot based on these, um, these 12 points, okay? All right, so any ideas? And this doesn't have to be anything that we follow through with, but let's let's think of a, a, a plot, a situation, a person, a normal life. What? Who is it? Who are they? And what does their normal life look like? Yes, Audrey. Okay. Imagine a barista, but with anger issues. Okay. Like really so. bad anger issues. All right. Number one. <laughs> barista. Okay. And then mundane is every day. They go to work and then. Their boss. With anger issues. Okay. That's great. I love it. All right. So number two is the call to adventure. So something messes up their ordinary world. What is it? A uh, secret spy person that comes and gets Ooh, I like it. And, yeah. Is this an actual movie? No. Okay. So <laughs> spy. Just describing like a really famous movie. <laughs> spy you back up your, like, orders. And like hands her a bunch of money or something. Or, or he's there to like drop off a deal or something and it goes yeah. crazy and she gets somehow wound up into it. The action. Or how about this? How about then, they the spy pays but accidentally gives them the mission, their mission. Okay. <laughs> spy orders coffee. Not very good spy. Crap! Like, what did I do with that? <laughs> oh man! Where um, like the movie. He could or be like, he really could be like, give absurd. this to your boss, and she's like, no, you can't tell me what to do, and then. Because she has she anger issues. Yeah. Okay. She has anger issues. <laughs> well, no, I got it. What if we went for a really absurd sort of form of plot where the the person who has always been skeptical of the boss of some form of affiliation with some group, and so she proceeds to spy on him, and she decides to stay out. She decides to stay over work just to supposedly get her stuff done. However, she's spying just to see what the boss does. Okay. 
the boss meets up with one of some random person and they proceed to hand over some files. She's interested in what that file is, so she proceeds to sneak in and take it for herself. Okay, so same kind of thing. So the, the barista sees the spy talking to the bo boss. The barista is a little suspicious of, of the spy. Maybe. Um, so then, and then, so then, like afterward, after work, the barista takes out the trash, takes out trash, and finds what? her boss's dead body in the ditch, in the dumpster. Ooh. In okay, the dumpster. we could we could do that. Or, or like her boss has like her boss. Sorry, her boss has like a really like a signature like tattoo on his or her hands. And while she's taking the trash out, she sees the hand with the, the sign on it. Just the hand. The body's somewhere else, but just the hand is staying there. And so she's like, oh my gosh, is my boss dead? Is that my boss's hand Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to simplify that a little bit. Let's say the uh, barista takes out trash and sees boss and spy arguing, and spy kills boss. Okay? All right, we don't have to get all detailed yet, but you sick people. All right, number three, refusal of the call. What does the barista, what does that look like for the barista? She's, she's angry, she, so she doesn't want to deal with it. What? Okay. <laughs> she's not depressed. She's she decides, deal with her. She, just, she doesn't, she just runs she's, away. she's worried she's that somebody will. Or we could just say, we could say, out. let the police handle this. Yeah, she does. She doesn't care. She says she doesn't get paid enough for it. Let like, the police handle. Anyway. And they and the but the police say, well, no, knives out. There. I got a died She's of natural crazy. causes in a dumpster without hands. <laughs> and what if, <laughs> hand 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 what if her other co-workers proceed? <laughs> What if her other co-workers you. proceeds to somehow contact her in some way and says, you've seen the report on TV, if they're accused. We both know that the police somehow faked or or Sorry, I keep on. Told in some way. This is a blunt in some sense. Okay, or, so I like or, the co-worker idea. What? So sorry, sorry, we could do we could do where the coworker is sees like they say they found that they found the body in the dumpster, and the coworker knows that the girl the girl with anger issues threw the body or not threw his trash into the dumpster, so she must have seen the body, and then the the barista with anger issues continues and goes to kill the coworker to keep herself undercover because she doesn't want to be okay. No, that's a lot of anger issues. <laughs> okay, here's an idea. How did you somehow turn the antagonist? into like because she's a hero but like so let's say the barista receives a cryptic phone call like a disguised electronic voice from somebody i know i know what you saw meet me at blah 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 she gets like a burner phone like in her like tip jar or something Ooh, nice and it's like, I know what you saw. And then that's how she gets it. She's looking, she's like, ah, oh, that's what I thought. It's like, I know what you saw. And then that's how she gets like wound up with the spy. And she needs okay. the mentor or something. So she's either way, out. yeah, I like the details of that. Again, you're thinking details. But either way, the barista received cryptic call. I know what you saw. Meet me at blah, blah, blah. Okay? Where are you out of it? How did you come up with the barista with anger issues? She is a barista with anger issues. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I know what you saw, and then meet me at uh, whatever. So the journey begins. And so then, this is the meeting of the mentor. The mentor doesn't even have to be a good person. The mentor is just someone who encourages the hero to start the journey. So this cryptic person, we have no idea if they're good or bad or what. So the mentor is the boss with a missing hand. I thought he was dead. Oh. No, <laughs> no, he's they dead just in a dumpster. His hand. They yeah, just found his, his hand. Okay. He's not dead. His hand. Oh, they just chopped off his hand. Yeah. What kind of whole thing? Okay, this part is no, getting way too confused. Yeah, no, he is dead, shh. but they just found his hand. No, in the dumpster. They oh. think he's so, dead. No, okay. No, he, okay, he's dead. He's dead. The boss died. is dead. The guy who contacted her was completely different, who also yeah. noticed the murder and wanted to hunt down it's, whoever was inside the job, which is a rival group. Okay. Just the boss's wife. No. <laughs> no. no. So let's. We don't even have to. Let's just. Let's just keep going with this, okay? So barista receives a call. So this is now. It's crossing the threshold. The decision to do it. 
and, and then there's a point of no return. I like the point of no return. So here's what I'm thinking. So let's say that um, uh, the barista is still refusing, but sees her face on the news. That's a suspect. As a suspect who killed their boss because of her anger issues. <laughs> <laughs> She'd been diagnosed with mild anger. <laughs> this could lead to death. Killed her boss this could lead to all because of anger issues. <laughs> so so then she's forced. She breaks the TV. <laughs> she breaks the TV. No, I'm not! It's not me! All right, so that's five. All right, we're getting somewhere, right? Okay, so then she has no choice but to meet this person <laughs> and, the and continue the journey, okay? So along the way, she investigates. What if we just made her really, like a really screwed up story for her? <laughs> Following cryptic person's <laughs> cryptic voice, okay? So there... She investigates all these things uh, following the cryptic voice, okay? And then we got the, 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 this is now we're approaching the climax, okay? So what would the climax be after figuring out what's happening? And then like, maybe this is where the plot twist, plot twist would happen. The coworker. So a coworker? So her best friend, her coworker, who helped her with her anger issues, is her boss's killer. Well, nice. It was her ex coworker. In her ex coworker, they were dating they were mad that they got fired. Guys, I got it. I got it. The boss. No. The oh. barista gets mad and she spills hot espresso on her coworker's face and it melts off and she's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> no. I got it, guys. Plot twist. I got a different plot twist. I got a different plot twist. Okay. It turns out the boss. Staged his own death to fake, to fake it and scam the business out, take all the funding out of it for himself. I like insurance. that. I like that. So, so here's the deal. Approaching to the innermost thing. So that's oh. kind of the seven and eight. And this is, sorry, this is all in like the 16th century. I don't yeah, think they, um, like, like Sherlock time. Like, uh, okay, no, no, is a Sherlock, dude, Sherlock what? is either yeah. early 19th, oh, late 19th, we're not going to yell, we're not going to yell, we're not going to yell. Early 20th, no, what? that's when the war was happening. Okay, yeah. so what late, is the approach? Late, Here's what we need to do. Here's what we need to fill in. We need to do an approach here. So this is where the hero draws close to the oh, heart wait, of the special world. Or the climax. So what's happening right before this plot twist? And that's what we call the ordeal. Is is the greatest challenge, the plot twist. It was you all along, type of thing. Okay? I got it's it. Mine. I got it. What if we re what if we worked in real world events? What if we put this around the nineteen like thirties or forties? It turns out the boss was taking the money because he was working for the Nazis. Or Okay. He could be the serial killer with the um, hotel at that place, and all the past co-workers went to that hotel and died. Nice. Right? Yeah, I like that. So it's a series, of, it's kind of seeing all of it. What yeah, were you going to say, Okay, okay. With them so for a plot twist, what if they go into work the next day while they're trying to solve the mystery, and the boss shows up? I thought then, she was wanted. They find out that yeah, so she can't so, go to work because she's oh, because she's wanted. Yeah. Well, on the TV or the she TV sees TV. her boss walking on the street, mm. and she finds out that the body was actually the guy from Undercover Boss. Okay. And, <laughs> what? And he, the other guy is dead, but the boss isn't. Something. <laughs> Or like the boss. boss. Have you ever seen the actual boss, boss is no. dead? And okay. Someone so, like morphs into the new like the boss. Like, here's here's what I'm thinking. I like I like where your head's at. Just not the other. So the approach to the innermost cave is now the barista is finally going to meet this person who's been calling her face to face, and the twist is boss. boss. 
shows up. It's her father. <laughs> and then monologues and it reveals the whole thing. Okay. And the boss has a hook. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> For a hand. He's a big thumb. Okay, so the boss shows up. All right, so how does, how does she defeat the boss who was wanting to do this all for insurance money? Oh, well, we're, we're, we're going with that story. Well, something. It's not that much insurance money, it's just a bar. What if it was a front for a, a drug cartel? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like, what if the boss, so the spy is actually tied, still tied to the story. And um, the boss is actually a drug dealer, and the spy is trying to bust him. And then, so they take, so the spy who's not really working for the American number, he's working for the Russian government. Okay. And, <gasps> yes, and, we can make this during the 1980s. No, I say we make it like 2012, you know, like when mustaches were popular and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, was, that was the 70s. We could make it the 1980s. No, okay, boss shows up. That's our plot twist. So how do we defeat the boss? She's secretly famous and she's a paparazzi. That's how they get caught. Okay, so what? Let's pours it over his head. And it's the spy. And he melts into the door. Okay, so let's 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 she starts screaming at him. She yeah. gets mad. She and starts insulting him. And he just coffee over pours. Face. She's a barista. She has to pour. Oh coffee. my gosh, yes. So she's. And then he just melts. Like, she's oh, like, she has coffee. this secret. She like, like blinds him because it's hot. She, oh, yeah. Hot coffee comes out of her fingertips. No, okay. This is not a secret. <laughs> it's not a like, superpower, like, but like, it's, a, it's a trick. It's a super <laughs> trick. Like maybe there's foreshadowing of how she was doing that. Like in the meaning, like she was accidentally spilling stuff on people. And, uh, Wait, where did she get the coffee? Did she just like, oh, where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna go meet the person who called me and told me that. Yeah, so we need some kind of hot drink or when something that a barista does. Maybe she always has a thirst. They need underground. <laughs> under she, the had, she had like she had a backpack. <laughs> no. And there's coffee the on the wall. And <laughs> inside the coffee are drugs. Well, okay. And the barista is a big cover up for selling drugs. And it's so to the way she beats him is she grabs it, well, not like that, but they're like, they're fighting and she's like, well, she's actually surprisingly good and the boss doesn't have a hand for member. So she gets to the top <laughs> and um, it's like one of those big, like, uh, like, have you ever seen Star Wars where, where Luke is and like when he gets frozen in the fifth episode, I think. That's Han Solo who gets frozen. No, 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 not Han Solo, Luke. When, when after, after in the snowstorm, yeah. after he fights the thing, he's the in that big tank. Yeah. So it's a bunch of big tanks like that, and there's He's like an a... ATH. Yeah. No, not an ATH. It's like a big like warming tank to warm him up. Yeah. No. no yeah, I know what you mean. And he's oh, like, right? And then so they're fighting, right? And then she uses her cough. Uh, I don't really know how to do. How does a barista? Right. But anyway, she pushes him into the hot coffee, and then she serves the coffee. Oh yeah. Like, right. <laughs> Let's see. Well, we don't want to waste it. Yes. Yeah. Well, in the Drake and Josh movie, they get <laughs> yes. like kidnapped. You know what you're and Drake they're and like Josh. printing money, and they get like kidnapped because they found out. And how they escape is they basically like they mess everything up. So if she's like kidnapped, and like they turn well, off the fan, so all the money goes everywhere, and everyone starts panicking. So she did, like she just starts messing everything yeah. up. Like, that's how Because her, with her anger issues, she learned <laughs> as a barista how to how to secretly poison what somebody's if, coffee. It's in a, like that. <laughs> what if it's an abandoned coffee shop, and so she knows where everything is, and she knows how to like mess with the lights and the electricity and everything. Why does she know where everything is? Because she's a barista. And Why is it abandoned? I don't know. It's not a bad It's just it's like on me. a holiday. It's on Easter or something. It went out for Easter. Yeah, it's in the middle, the, the middle of the night or something, and oh, they come in. And so she somehow gets free from her bonds. I still, I want to tie the spy back into the story because he's just is seen talking with the boss, and then he walks away. The spy, yeah. Actually, the spy kills the boss. Wait, what? The I boss thought the spy dead. killed the boss. Yeah, yeah like that's why it's a twist. The boss is another boss. That's why it's a twist because. <laughs> no. 
the boss they're like impersonating the boss. The right? boss is from undercover. Yeah, maybe there's a maybe yeah, there's so a like they they've been genetically the boss, cloned. Mr. Like, really Black, the mask from Spice. Yes. He pulls his mask off. Yeah. Oh, and, and the boss is the, the spot. The mask is burned off. <laughs> so you Why are you so It was just a really cheap mask. Great. Did Ava secretly wants to burn people's like face. Or like the coffee shop is actually <laughs> spreading the coronavirus. That's right. And forcing everyone to wear masks, which is how so the boss shows up at the, and then like. At the abandoned coffee shop. It's like, why don't you make us some coffee or something? I don't know. But they're, he's, she's but, kidnapped. They're not going to let her. No, she, she, she voluntarily she meets, <laughs> voluntarily oh, meets the cryptic She already heart. knows secretly. <laughs> and the spy recruits her. Or does she see the boss? What if the she barista sees. goes missing, like Janae's idea, but then the spies, the, the barista was like a big threat to the spies, I don't know why, but then, because she knew the information about him dying in the jungle. Yes, so they think she's out of the picture, she's gone. And at the end of the movie, they go up to get a cup of coffee, and she turns around and it's the barista. <laughs> and that's when she pours on their head. Yeah. <laughs> and they're perfect. And she goes, well, well, well. <laughs> Okay, so you guys kind of get the idea, right? So yes. see, it's nice to have a little template. Are we scrapping that story, or um, we can finish it? We can finish. We can finish it right now. But I need a good ending. I don't. I haven't heard one yet. Wow. Sorry. She. So at the beginning, she's learning how to. Um, what do priests do? What if she's like she really little and makes the like flower, you know? What? what does that have to do with it? Or maybe she's it's like, a bar. Wait, it's a bar. It's not a coffee shop. It's, it's a, a coffee barista. shop. But it's a barista. It's not a bar. It's a coffee waitress. If it was a bartender, I had an idea. Okay, well, it's not a bartender. If it was a bar, well, because bartenders have more like. What she if gets she was somehow... secretly a dancer? <laughs> That's why. So here's. So you can always dance on yeah, she, talk. Let's hear she it. She learned Ashley. a trick by her old co worker who was fired um, that. You could mix, like I don't know, vodka and something else to make it really like powerful drug. And yeah, so I so, like that. You can mix syrups and yeah, coffee. Right. So she's so she's looking and she's like, like <laughs> mixes something in there, and then so like, but how she gets to like working with them is this. She instead of seeing her old boss, she sees the spy, and the spy is recruiting her to get her to. Um, to stop the boss, who she finds out is actually like a big drug dealer, and um, so she mixes the stuff, and, and like it's like at night, and she gives them all the stuff, and um, it turns out that the spy um, actually was like killed somehow in the in the in the in the middle of the story. It's very vague, but I'm working on it. So he gets killed somehow in the middle of the story, and she's so she. So she has to work for herself, and basically how she does it is she mixes toxins together and makes them all go to sleep, and then she ties them to the chair, and then, what else does she do? So then she okay. contacts the police, and it turns out that the police are working <laughs> with the drug dealers, and so... That's involved. Then, okay. because she knows how to um, work with the, because um, it's night, right? And it's not like... I mean, I'm I'm with the viewpoint that it's like telephones and like quick like yeah. So is it getting there? into details? But I, here's what I wrote. I'm taking what you said and I said, boss shows up, she makes coffee and poisons. All right, let's leave it at that. We can put in details later. But maybe, it, but maybe it's not a po poisons. But maybe it's like uh, it puts them to sleep. Exactly. She calls the police. Okay, then what's the reward? Yeah, do you have another suggestion? Yes. Okay. Maybe she gets away with all the money. So, in the beginning, Ooh. since she has anger issues, she never listens to anyone because she just gets angry with them. So, she doesn't know how to make drinks. And her boss is like, oh, one day you're going to poison me. Then, she's like, when she oh, shows yeah. up, she's, nice. like, she's like, let's have coffee. And then, because, yeah. And the barista didn't make the drink but right. But it make more sense if it was a bartender. Right. Instead of barista. Right. Maybe it's a bartender with anger issues instead yeah. of stuff. And, and like then, she gets into fights regularly at the bar. No, I like yeah. the barista. Oh, I like the barista. barista. We can make it work. Okay. So then, one day you're gonna poison me, that's funny. And then they actually she yeah. actually poisons. He's like, okay, let's sit down, we're gonna have a drink. And then the barista pours coffee 
poisons him, and then she's like, get served, and then she leaves. <laughs> get served, yeah. get served <laughs> baby. He's like, <laughs> you're like, suck it. And then she walks okay, out. Okay, so, and then the reward is the I think she should defeats take the, the boss. <laughs> And inherits the coffee shop business. It's not and like it's not like dealer. the money, drug money, because that's bad. But she inherits the business, and she's like the new hero. So that's the reward. The road back, back to normal life. Um, so really, what we did here is we put nine through twelve. We kind of did it all into this. So all these inherits the coffee shops. So defeats the boss. That's the reward. Solves the mystery. Okay, the road back. Um, that's when, uh, that's when, like, oh, this is what I learned from my time away, hiding, looking for this killer. Okay, and then the whole resurrection and return with the elixir and makes normal better. So now it's a cool coffee shop and design the way she wants it, and she doesn't yeah, have anger issues anymore. At the beginning, she's coming up to the boss with like ideas of like how yes, to get better. And I like the boss that. is like, oh shut up, you stupid yeah. bartender baby. <laughs> oh shut up. Yeah, so and maybe she, she has a, she has a meeting back. in the boss's office um, and she brings him coffee and he's like, one day you're gonna poison me. This is terrible. What do you want to talk about? And then she shares her ideas. I like that. Okay, so do you see what we did? That's a pretty cool story. That's, a, that's pretty fun. It has all the elements so like of a good story. Things. Okay. So, good.